Hey everybody, on today's episode of With or Without Whiskey, I will be reviewing Blue Run, Golden Rye. Thank you. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of With or Without Whiskey. As always, I'm your host, Ryan, and today we will be going over Blue Run's new rye whiskey. Like always, I'm going to give you guys some brief information about the whiskey itself, the distillery it comes from, and some fun facts that I happen to find out. Then I'm going to go through my review aspect of the show, where I give you all the nosing and tasting notes that I get, I'll give it a grade between 1 and 100, and I'll let you know if we should be with it or without it. Stick around. The Golden Rye is the fourth release from Blue Run and the first rye whiskey they've released. It's a small run coming from only 91 barrels. It was released in September 2021 and is a gold medal winner in the 2021 San Francisco World Spirits Competition. This Blue Run product had Bourbon Hall of Famer Jim Rutledge, former master distiller at Four Roses, overseeing the production. Each installment of Blue Run comes with a different butterfly on the front. The Golden Rye has an oxidized version. The founders of Blue Run consist of a Nike designer a director level employee at Facebook, a hospitality executive, a political advisor, and a philanthropist. Blue Run Golden Rye is a straight rye whiskey sourced from undisclosed Kentucky distilleries. It is a non-age statement whiskey with an undisclosed mash bill. It's 95 proof or 47.5% ABV and retails for about $100. All right, let's get into the review part. All right, fresh cork pop. Ooh, that one was nice. This one has a, a black cork on it, which is actually kind of cool. I don't think it does anything, but I like it. All right. All right, so it's got a pretty dark color. It's a little above amber. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold it a little bit closer. Right, let's get some air into it. Swirl it around a little bit. All right, and I'll let you know what I get on the nose. Okay, it's honey right up front. A little bit of maple. It's got that classic rye smell. I'm getting like some black licorice in there. Like star anise almost. It's got a little bit of a burn on the nose, but nothing too overwhelming. I get some vanilla, I get some cherry. Hmm. There's a little bit of caramel in there, but nothing too over the top with that. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. A 
Okay, those have a lot of the classic rye spices, like you get the baking spice right up front. You get that star anise, black licorice kind of taste. But it it mellows out with a with a nice sweetness at the end. It's almost like a, it's almost like gummy candy. Let's give it another sip. Yeah, it's very sweet at the end, but those rye spices are coming in right up front. I'm also getting some caramel. There's some vanilla in there. I get a hint of the oak in there, but it's, again, in the back. It's got a sugary sweetness too, like like gummy candy, brown sugar almost. And it's got, I think it's molasses. Let me try one more time. Yeah, definitely a good molasses taste. That's what I was trying to pinpoint. Yeah, if you guys ever had like fresh, like from scratch gingerbread cookies, and it has like a heavy molasses taste, it's like that. Or anybody who's ever had a slice of shoe fly pie knows exactly what I'm talking about. That I really like. That's one of my favorite notes I'll ever find in a whiskey. So that's definitely a bonus on here. The finish is actually pretty long. It's been going a little bit. Um, I get the oak on that. I get the eucalyptus taste on the finish. Not so much when I first try it, but definitely throughout. All right, let's see what happens when we open it up with some water. All right, let's give it the normal one and two. Swirl it around a little bit, mix it up. Hmm. Okay, so that brought a lot of cherry into the mix. I'm definitely getting that sweetness. Uh, that harshness I was talking about before on the nose is almost completely gone. Yeah, it smells like it has zero burn. I mean, I didn't add a lot to it, but it really mellowed that out. I'm getting that almost, uh, that eucalyptus kind of smell. If you ever had one of those like eucalyptus oils or something like that, it smells very similar to that. All right, let's see how it tastes. Okay, same deal with the nose on the palate. It mellowed out the rye spice at the beginning. At the end, it was really, uh, it was more noticeable, but it was definitely a lot more tame with the water. It gave me a couple of different things in there, but... Yeah, there's a little more oak with the water and there's a little bit more there's a little bit more of that star anise in there All right, let's give it one more yeah it's got that oakiness up front the rye spice is hidden in the back it's a lot more creamy with the addition of the water. It gives it a much more viscous feel to it. It definitely coats the mouth a little bit better. The finish with the water is, um, 
it really didn't change that much. It added a little bit more uh, creaminess, a little bit more viscosity, but in terms of taste, it was almost the same. All right, now let's get into the ranking. So, Blue Run Golden Rye. When it comes to the taste, I thought it was very good. It was a classic rye. You get all the, uh, all the notes that you're expecting from a rye, but you get a couple of extra things, like the eucalyptus, the black licorice, the rice, uh, the rye spice, the baking spice, that's all there. It's nothing too over the top with that. But that sugary sweetness, that almost like gummy bear consistency and gummy bear flavor, that was something I haven't really experienced in too many ryes. The issue with Blue Run over anything else is one, it's price. This was a hundred dollar bottle. And two, it's availability. If you weren't able to order it when it first came out on the website, you had to have hopefully found it in one of the states that they released it in. This wasn't a mass release thing. It was only available in a couple of states. Thankfully, South Carolina was one of them and I was able to pick one of them up at my local store. But in terms of availability, this one's gonna be very hard to come by. So, for the grade of Blue Run, I'm gonna give the Golden Rye, I'm gonna give it an 82 out of 100. It was very good. It had some very unique flavors that I haven't found in a lot of different whiskeys. It was a classic rye taste. It really gave me all of the notes I was looking for out of a rye. It's perfect for those cold fall and winter weathers. It's a nice warming rye. It gave you good, uh, good heat in your chest, but not too, not too overpowering. So for Blue Run Golden Rye, I'm gonna go with it. If you can find it, definitely pick up a bottle. It's nice. I think it's worth the price. I think it's worth the $100 mark. If you see it more than that, like 115, 120, I'd consider passing on it. It's, it's good for the price it's at. I wouldn't go above that though, but I really did enjoy it. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in today. If you enjoyed the episode and had a good time, make sure you hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Also, I want you to give me a like on the video and hit the bell notification. That way you'll know anytime I post a new video. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you've had this one before, if you were able to find it. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Have you had any of the other Blue Run products? I'd love to hear your opinion on that. Until next time, stay safe, everybody. Take care.